whatever. Why did he block you, Andrew? Well, good question. And I think it's first, you know, worth saying that this started out, I was genuinely quite fascinated to see his sort of meteoric media rise. I actually made a video about him a few months ago and I made it because I saw this viral thread on Twitter. It wasn't actually from him. It was from another guy. It was from a, a marketing consultant who had just done this thread. It got over 10,000 retweets all about Brian's incredible routine. And I thought this is really fascinating because it's a, it's a way of sort of taking the aging biology conversation to the public. You know, I love talking about anything aging biology related. And so here was this guy. He was getting loads and loads of press coverage because his lifestyle is just, it's, it's crazy. So, you know, he wakes up exactly the same time every morning. He doesn't really have to, but I think he goes for 5 a.m. just to look sort of hardcore. <laughs> but then he always makes sure he gets exactly, you know, eight hours sleep or whatever it is he gets, he's, he's had this 100 percent sleep score on his whoop strap for the last month and is going on about that but it's when he wakes up you know the, the chaos really starts or well, I, I say chaos it's, it's really the sort of meticulous order he has dozens of supplements with his breakfast he eats literally the same food every single day um he's got all these things he's, he's using certain drugs that are sort of earmarked as things that might potentially be um related to longevity um it came out i think this week or last week as we record that he's been using his son as a blood boy so this is this idea of transfusing blood from a younger person to an older person to try and slow down their rate of aging so he's doing all these um sort of some cutting edge some sort of slightly low on evidence interventions to try and extend his longevity and when this first started out as i say i was sort of intrigued by it because it was a it was a way to talk to people about longevity and to talk to people about you know what are these measurements he's taking what do they mean and why is he trying out this particular you know combination of supplements or or uh, drugs or whatever it might be and i think that the problem with this approach is that it makes you think um this is something that only you know really rich and particularly i mean discipline's even the wrong word because it goes beyond that it's sort of you know you, you have to be you have to be quite special to be able to follow this kind of incredible rigid lifestyle and so i think a lot of people looked at this and if you look at the comments on social media when this first started coming up um there are a lot of people obviously worried about the sort of inequality the fact that maybe billionaires could buy their way to immortality or something like that but if you look past those comments you then see a lot of people going oh my you know oh my god i'd never want to live like this like if this is what it takes to live to 120 i'm checking out i'd rather live 80 good years than 120 years the same way this guy does so i sort of trying to you know use that to make a bit of the conversation around longevity but the point when my opinion started to switch a bit on him was when it became clear that I, I really think this is a money-making enterprise as far as he's concerned. So, you know, obviously he's an entrepreneur. I think he's worth about $400 million because he sold his payment company to PayPal or eBay or something like that for $800 million a few years ago. So he's a very, very wealthy guy, you know, very talented businessman. But I really think that this is another business opportunity as far as he's concerned because he started tweeting that he's going to monetize the blueprint. So, you know, I get a lot of responses when I tweet about him saying, oh, you know, he's making all this stuff available for free. His website has his lists of supplements and his doses and all these things and a bit of data that's uploaded there as well. But that actually doesn't seem to me to be the end game. I think he's trying to come up with a way to package this because his website, you know, honestly, it's a bit overwhelming if you've ever scrolled down it. You can just see there's there's so many different things there's all these measurements like if you're not already a bit of a longevity nerd you've got no idea what this guy is going on about so what you really want maybe is something that costs 10 20 50 dollars a month that can then sort of break it down and you know provide you with the supplements you need to follow this program so that's clearly something he's going for he's talking about blueprint he's talking about another version of it for women um and it's just there are some really strange aspects to the ways he's trying to make money as well you know as i said this guy's worth probably 400 million dollars is the guess and yet he's got Amazon affiliate links on his website. Like a lot of the things are, um, so that's obviously a link that you click on it, you go and buy something on Amazon. He gets a, a tiny percentage of the cut of, you know, what's, what this product is sold for. And then he's also got a lot of like affiliates with other specific companies. So he'll be like, oh, I'm recommending this particular supplement. Use the, you know, code blueprint20 for 20% off at checkout. And again, you know, we're all familiar with how this works in the world of podcasts, in the world of YouTube. You provide these affiliate links, you get a small kickback. Now, you know, this is a perfectly legitimate thing for people to do if they think you know that's that's how it's going to work but to, to sort of uh, characterize this whole thing as a grand experiment for the improvement of humanity while at the same time making these you know what seem like bizarre pennies on the pound <laughs> compared to someone who's got 400 million dollars I, I can't really make sense of it to be honest and so i started tweeting at him to get back you know to your original question i started tweeting you know quote tweeting him and that sort of thing saying look brian if i had 400 million dollars I wouldn't be doing what you're doing. If I wanted to live the longest possible time, even if I was doing it for completely selfish reasons, what I would be doing is investing some of that money in clinical trials. 
And I think what particularly changed my mind on this is when you're starting to recommend that people follow your protocol, you need some evidence that it works. And a lot of these supplements, they've got evidence in mice, they've got some mechanism where we understand what goes on inside the cells and you drip this particular compound on the cells. We don't know that it makes human beings live longer. We might have a, you know, it might be compelling uh, mechanistic evidence, but it's not something where I can go out, you know, hand on my heart and make a sort of piece of health, give it out as a piece of health advice. Even worse, not to the point where I can start actually selling that as, you know, a supplement, a product, whatever it might be. So I started saying to him, look, you know, Brian, why don't you just use some of your 400 million to fund some clinical trials? And the absolute classic example, I think, there's a drug called metformin, which we know he takes. It's a diabetes drug that, I mean, a lot of people have probably heard of. If you've read my book, I talk about metformin quite a bit in there. This is a drug that um, was originally obviously prescribed to diabetics, but there's some interesting human evidence that suggests it might delay cancer, might extend lifespan, might delay the aging process overall. And there's been this trial called TAME, which is targeting aging with metformin. That's been, um, I think I even wrote in my book, that it was about to start, but it's been about to start for so long because they're just waiting for the last few tens of millions of funding. It's going to cost about $70 million, this trial. And they've got about half of that down already from various donors, but they just need a bit more money to take it over the line. So if you're someone like Brian Johnson, you could really advance the field of longevity science by, you know, providing those few extra tens of millions of dollars. And then that would also mean there was some more evidence basis for the stuff that you're recommending, the stuff you're perhaps even selling to consumers. So I started tweeting about this. And um, although Brian claims to love the trolls, he's always quote tweeting the people who say that he's crazy. As soon as you give him any legitimate, uh, you know, scientific evidence-based criticism, well, you seem to get the block button. <laughs> <laughs>